Welcome back, Lake listeners. Thank you for coming back for more of Season 2 with our Growth Thrive Inspire podcast. Today, we are excited to have another Community Spotlight episode highlighting a family-owned business in Camdenton. This business continues to keep the community connected and supported within the entire Lake of the Ozarks area. Here to share more about it is one of my very great longtime friends, the store manager, Mr. Doug Ritchie. Doug, thanks so much for being here. I'm super excited to talk about you and all that U.S. Cellular has going on. Thank, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. So, Doug, I just kind of wanted to start with you just telling our listeners about yourself and where you found kind of the passion to do what you do. Um, I uh, grew up in the lake area. I've lived here my entire life. Uh, I love the lake area, and uh, obviously nowadays we rely on our cell phones so much, and I've always, uh, when I first started there, I kind of didn't see the importance of it, but Mm -hmm. working there and seeing everybody's personalized issues, I kind of came to understand just how vital they are to really everything, you Mm -hmm. know? And, um, so I, that's kind of where I got the passion, but, uh, a little about myself. I I grew up here. My family's raised here, you know, basically all of us. Um, I have three kids, um, and a beautiful fiance, Lindsay Rogers. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, our kids go to Camdenton and we just, you know, we love the lake and, that's awesome. That's awesome. So switching to U.S. Cellular now, your business is a family-owned business, and your store really takes some pride in that. So can you elaborate on why you are so proud of kind of your family culture? Yeah, um, I, I believe in culture is really important when you're running any business, but um, I've always appreciated the, you know, the culture at our store. They pay very well, you know, our regular associates are able to make above, you know, a, a good income. And, and yeah, the, the owners actually have a condo down here at the lake and they spend a lot of time at the lake. And I think when you go into a corporate store, you know, you can get really good service still. But I've always found that when there's a little, maybe, I don't want to say looser rules, but, you know, I mean, you can call me at 9 p.m. if you're having an emergency and get a hold of me. Whereas typically that's not what you see. So I just always like that. And, um, yeah, I think it, I think it kind of makes a difference when you are considering, you know, we're all family, we all have families. And when you're considering what's best for people's family, I I mean, it, it, it goes a long way in servicing them exactly how they need to be serviced. So that's awesome. So you've been in the business now for 10 years. What is something that you personally love about your industry? I, I really love, meeting so many people. I mean, I've gained friendships from this job that I probably never would have had before. Um, and obviously, you know, it, 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 when you're dealing with something so vital to industry in Mm -hmm. general, it, you know, it, there's a lot of pressure, but there's a lot of satisfaction whenever you, you know, can give somebody exactly what they want. And, you know, that, that's what I love about it is that, you know, you're, you're helping people with something that is extremely vital. They have to have it. Everybody relies on their phones for about everything. Really. And when you're saying vital too, you're talking about like keeping people connected yes. and things like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't, um, you know, we didn't shut down a day over COVID because oh, okay. it really is a, you know, it's a vital industry, you know, essential, it, it, yeah. Yeah, essential business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What services are you currently offering now? We actually do a lot, a lot of stuff that people maybe wouldn't think about. Um, we do, obviously, cell phone, tablets, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But we also offer, you know, hotspots, home internet, home phone. We do a lot of uh, M2M, which is, you know, uh, connected. We can monitor your grain bin and make sure there's no moisture. We can oh, that's neat. use cameras to monitor your farm. We can put in, you know, just about anything you could think of with that. Uh, and that's kind of where the industry is going. It's moving a lot towards that. And uh, fleet tracking, we, we do, you know, where you can monitor your, your employees when they're driving and oh, when they cool. stop and how fast they're going. So we really do a lot of stuff. It's not just cell phones. We do offer one of the most competitive pricing for cell phones that you'll get. I mean, I'm always blown away when people come in and they're paying double what they should pay. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of because people just get comfortable and they don't they don't check on it, you know. Mm-hmm. And U.S. Cellular's done a lot of build out in this area the last 10 years. Just since I've been here, our customer base is probably 
you know, quadrupled, you know, oh, that's and wonderful. it's, yeah, it, it, and it has a lot to do with the money that they've invested in the infrastructure and yeah, it, it's brought it a long way for sure. Mm. Well, you all recently went 5G. So what does that look like for our area? Are you all planning to add more additional coverages or towers or anything? So what, what does that look like? We are aggressively building out our 5G. Oh, awesome. uh, right now, it's actually in Eldon and a little bit of Lake Ozark. You're getting like 70 megabytes per second. We're anticipating that it, it's going to be in Camdenton very soon. Um, but uh, it's definitely something that is going to change everything, really. Uh, you're talking about um, industry, personal, schooling, with everything that's going on right now, especially with schooling. Um, 5G is going to make it possible for almost anybody to have great internet service, mm -hmm. um, which is going to be a big deal. It, it really is. And I'm super excited about it. And I'm, I'm happy to, to, you know, that U.S. Cellular sees the, how important it is and they are aggressively building it out. So one thing that, um, I wanted to touch on that you had mentioned was the schooling aspect. And I know that you guys have tried to help so many kind of come through with, you know, um, online learning and stuff like that. Have you seen a big chunk um, that you've helped you oh, know, yeah. kind of go that direction? Yeah. U.S. Cellular actually started offering an unlimited tablet plan, you know, kind of specifically centered around the, the homeschooling because as people in this area know, probably there, the internet infrastructure for broadband is not not very good. If you live in Camden 10 or maybe, you know, Sunrise, mm -hmm. you might be able to get some broadband. But anywhere beyond that, you're talking about satellite internet, which can be the difference between you being connected or not, really. Right. I mean, it's it's pretty, pretty bad, uh, satellite internet is. So um, when you're able to, you know, soothe the, the worry of a mom who doesn't want to send her kid to school maybe because of everything that the COVID pandemic that's a uh, that's huge and and we've seen a lot of people like that 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 have came and got you know an iPad and and a uh, um, unlimited data on it and you can you can do that for under 50 bucks a month so it's when you're oh, talking fantastic. about you know the difference between being connected or not. And sometimes it's not all about even school. It could be about extra work or right. just the ability for entertainment at home that you've never had before. So it's huge. And I think as that, that 5G gets built out, it's going to even get better. So it's very exciting. So you've previously mentioned that your store will take and buy old devices. So what does that look like? And do you have to be a customer? No, you don't have to be a customer. We have basically aggressively added a, a used phone business to our, our business. And we will take any any used device, electronics, phones that from anyone. So you can just come right into the store. And we literally write you a check that day. And we typically pay... Uh, more than even some of the biggest uh, online retailers like Gazelle and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And I mean, it's, it's taking it to a pawn shop is, I mean, is a waste when you've got this available, especially with the check today. Um, That's great. We evaluate phones on the spot. You don't have to wait for your money. And it's, you'd be surprised what is sitting in your drawer right now that could be worth five, 10, even I had somebody bring in a phone that was $50 that they've had in their drawer for six months. So oh, that's great. Yeah, I know I have, you know, I'm sure like everybody that's listening, I know I have probably devices laying around that, you know, are just sitting there collecting dust. So that's, that's really impactful. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it, and it's, you know, the more time you keep that device in your drawer, the more money is going to come off it. These phones are, are worth, you know, uh, resale wise more than they've ever been. So it's definitely a great way to, to get a little money, you know, and yeah. So, um, just to expand just a little bit, um, you know, I know that you do a little bit more than just phones and tablets. Like I've, I think you had mentioned to me, uh, um, maybe some cameras, um, kind of any electronic, anything, am I right? Yes. Anything. Now, some of it, you may bring it in and, and we may have to tell you, Hey, sorry, this isn't worth any money. Um, right. but you know, most of the time they are, and, and we will take, you know, really any kind of electronic. We will evaluate it and, and let you know. So That's it cool. just, yeah. And at least they can go and check, you know, yep. for, yeah, for free. For so. sure. Um, what is something that no one knows about your business? I would probably have to say the fact that we have home internet that is very competitive 
a lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people use, like I was saying earlier, satellite internet. If you're outside of Charter's footprint in this area, um, you're probably paying over $100 for internet or you don't have it. Mm -hmm. And our internet, you know, per per gigabyte is just significantly cheaper than theirs. And it's something that we always see people shocked when we tell them, you know, when they come in and they're like, hey, I'm paying 150 for internet. And they realize, hey, we can cut that in half, mm -hmm. you know. And it's just something I, over the years, people have continuously been surprised by. So I would have to say our, the fact that we do sell home internet and, um, yeah. That's great. Um, the other thing is, is, uh, you guys do some business, um, products and services too, right? To help service businesses. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, we have a lot of local businesses that use our fleet tracking. It's okay. our cruise connect option. Um, you can monitor literally anything, um, you know, and it, and it just helps raise productivity for your employees. It really is for, for the actual cost that it is. It's a, easy investment to, to help your business run a little smoother. You can tell when, you know, where an employee's been, if they were speeding or if they're driving the car roughly, you That's can tell really cool. if they need gas or if there's an engine code. So, and those typically start at like $5 a vehicle. So it's, it's pretty affordable and it's a, uh, it's a great way to, to keep your employees focused and, you know, know that they, Hey, you know, we're now we're, we get, we're keeping an eye on you. you yeah. Know? That's cool. <laughs> Um, what is something that would help your business currently? You know, I think uh, more traffic, you know. Um, we love to meet people, obviously, and um, we're not the type of environment where we're going to, you know, uh, lock you in the store and, and try to pressure you into switching. But <laughs> I do love the look on people's face when I give them a quote that is going to just save them, you know, a bunch of money. and typically 25 to 30 percent on your cell phone bill you know it, it may not seem like a lot but if you you know when you're talking about you know four hundred dollars you're talking about saving a hundred dollars a month and i've yet to find anybody at the lake that has the type of coverage we have that is also offering the strong price point that we we have you know we we do four lines of unlimited for 120 dollars um and yeah, I've yet to see really any company that that has as strong a network as us and a, as good a price. So that's great, um, and I think that a lot of people don't realize. I know I didn't um, when I switched over to US Cellular. Was that you can go in and, and get that information all for free? Like you yes. can just go inquire about it. Um, yeah, and you can actually go into the store. So right. a lot of these cell phone companies now are. Uh, making you stay outside and, and, you know, we don't do that. We, we want you to come in, you know, we want to, we want to see you and we want to help you, you know, and that's really, we kind of view ourselves as, you know, solution finders. We want to find the solution that's going to give you everything you need for the cheapest amount of money and yeah, keep you connected. That's powerful. So switching gears again, I wanted to take a minute and talk about what you all do for lo the local community. You've taken pride in sponsoring youth sports teams here, working heavily with LOSA along with baseball and softball teams. You sponsor families in need around Christmas time. You also do a lot with the chamber, expos, fairs, and even the air show. So can you expand on some of these for us? Like, tell me about LOSA. I know you coached for a long time, correct? What was like some of your favorite takeaways from that? Actually, it's a uh, really uh, kind of interesting fact. I actually coached a kid that I hadn't seen in a long time, and I, I walked into Marshall's up here, and he was actually working there, and I actually coached him for three or four seasons. Um, oh, wow. He was one of the better, better players that I ever coached, and he, he actually told me, he's like, hey, man, he's like, I just wanted to let you know that I just committed to SLU. I got a, a, a half scholarship for soccer. And honestly, I love that. I, I love soccer and um, and I love Losa. And um, I, whenever I was growing up at the lake, my family was very, very uh, poor. We didn't have a lot of money. And one thing that we never got turned away from was Losa. We never got turned away from Losa. My mom would try to get us in sports every year. She had four kids. She was a single mom. And uh, so it wasn't something she could do, but... You know, I, I will say that Los is the only one that never turned us away. We literally played every year. And, and this is a big soccer league, correct? Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, shout out to Losa. Um, uh, you can go to losa.org and you can give them money, I think, actually. But um, 
you know, I, I love I love the sport and I love just what the league is about and what they stand for. And I know they've been really hit with the pandemic. Everybody kind of saw what happened with them this year. And I think that if people really knew, you know, what went into it and the, and the sacrifices that people make, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's insane, you know, a lot of time. Um, but I actually, uh, I, I've coached Raft. I actually served on the board and, and I know it's a full of good people and, you know, wavelengths, we like to associate with good people. We like to partner with good people. And honestly, anybody that is, thinks that they have a worthy cause we're we're interested to know about it you know and we want to see what we can do with you and and everything and i just love that (laughs) yeah los has just been the one that's you know i've got a personal connection to uh, and um and i love uh, i love the sport as well that doesn't hurt but we we love the opportunity to 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 do more and you know and we're at the expo almost every year i think we're doing it this year i'm not Mm -hmm. sure and you know, and uh, we love to meet the community. So, you know, you can stop at any time and, and, you know, or, you know, just call the store and, and talk to us about it. We love to help. And so, yeah. That's awesome. So another thing that I wanted to be sure to ask you about is something that I am absolutely passionate about when it comes to your store. And that is that you guys will help someone with learning their device as well. You used to even do classes a long time ago. So can you expand on taking your family-centered culture and helping those who may need extra support, even being a non-customer? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we, we did have every Saturday morning, we used to, from 9 to 10, do a class. Um and we would come in and you could you could bring your device in and we would would answer basic questions a lot of people like to make a list and then come in with them and we would answer those questions and um we actually did open that up for non-customers four times a year um but with the covid pandemic uh it kind of put an end to that but we are anticipating doing it again as things kind of open up we're kind of fingers crossed because we really miss it it was one of those things where you're like Oh, I got to go in early and, and mm-hmm. you know, help these people. But now that we're not doing it, it's, you know, we kind of miss it. So hopefully it'll be back soon. And, and yeah, in, anytime you come in and, and you get a phone from us, we're not just going to send you out. We're not going to meet you at your car and give you the phone, unless that's what you want us to do. Right. We're not going to do that. Um, that, to me, is setting people up for failure, you know, and, 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 yeah, it's just not really our style. We want you to come in. We want you to sit down. We want to make sure that you get everything figured out and that you're comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, people that aren't comfortable with their devices, typically they have way more problems down the line. So, mm-hmm. yeah, we would, we would that is one thing I can guarantee you. None of my people are, are ever going to turn you away as far as helping you with a device. Just, you know, come see us for sure. That's great. Okay, so a um, couple more questions. What has got you excited for 2021 within your industry? Oh, man, that is easy. It's 5G. I mean, <laughs> it is – I don't think we really even – even people in the industry that know about, you know, the specifics of 5G, I, I don't even think really we're going to be able to fully anticipate the type of changes that it's going to bring, you know, Um I've heard it's like a big difference as far as speed and connectability, just different things all the way around. So I can imagine how it might be um, a little, a little different, you know, as you transition over. It's really a game changer. It really is. I mean, you're talking about, you know, one, I had a, a, well, a 5G expert kind of explaining to me that, you know, an example of how it's going to impact daily life. So you're right now, if somebody has an accident and it's called an ambulance is called out to the middle of nowhere, you know, and they come and they pick that person up and they drive them to the hospital, mm-hmm. you know, say it's a 30 minute drive going, you know, very fast with your lights on, you know, they can't really get all the vital information about that person until, you know, maybe if they're in the city, maybe when they get a little closer to the hospital and they're able to relay that with their system with 5g, you're talking about, the ability to, no matter where you're at, instantly transfer that data, you oh, know, wow. and that's huge, you know, 30 minutes on, yeah. on an emergency situation, and, you know, that's a, that's a big deal. And another uh, aspect of this is, is, you know, obviously how far you are from a tower that's 5G capable. And I think by the end of 2021, we're basically going to see 5G aggressively built out and basically, you know, in the majority of places. And, 
it's going to be huge because you're talking about, you know, right now, 4G LTE runs anywhere from 15 to 30 megabytes per second, which is very fast, much faster than we're used to, you know, 10 years ago. 5G can run anywhere from 70 megabytes oh. per second all the way up to a gigabyte in wow. certain areas. It, um, so That's a big jump. Yeah, it's going to be game changer. You're talking about, you know... I. I Really, the cost of internet, too, is going to go, I believe, it's going to go down, you know, because you're going to have the ability to, you know, get 5G, you know, and and it's going to make it to where you can have affordable internet, and Mm -hmm. it's just going to connect us all even more, you know? That's wonderful. Okay, so last question. It's kind of a fun one. Um, I'm going to rapid fire you two um, questions about the area, and you just give me back what you think, okay? So first one, uh, favorite place to eat? It's got to be Chinatown, man. Oh, Tung Cho. Chinatown. You got to get that Tung Cho. Yes. It's my favorite. I've been eating there my entire life, and I just love them. That- I, I'm pretty convinced that Chinatown here in Camdenton has some of the best Chinese food I've ever had. <laughs> I don't – it's weird because everybody – they say everybody has that local Chinese place that they just prefer, but I've been all over, and I, I haven't found one better. So, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next one. Favorite place to get a drink? Well, it's got to be the station, you know. Oh, I see you station. there, so, you know, sometimes. But, um, yeah, uh, it got to be the station. Shout out to the station. Yep, it's a great, great place in Camdenton, too. So, thank you for that. Well, Grow Thrive Inspire listeners, as always, we could not be more thankful to Doug for bringing U.S. Cellular's information and his experience here and sharing it with us. Remember that if you're needing to get rid of some devices or want to have help with your current device or want to get active within the community to stop by their store and be more than just a number. We have more episodes coming, so be sure to tune back in on Wednesdays and like and subscribe to our pages or share us with those who love the lake area as much as you do. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, and iTunes, or visit growthriveinspirepodcast.com. If you're interested in our lake area, be sure to check out our open houses coming up. Open houses are posted on Thursdays for the upcoming weekend on our Facebook page. And remember to always grow, thrive, and inspire. Catch you next time.